All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. Second, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that teach and rule well. And salutation as well to the fellow laborers that's pushing the word of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. In all truth and sincerity, day in and day out, doing the ministry of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina camp, coming at you with another quick lesson. And this message, as always, goes out to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. And also to the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the other nations. And they may look like a typical heathen of another nation. But if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you're considered an Israelite as well, according to the bloodline and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So shalom to you, brothers and sisters. Scattered worldwide, and that's in the faith uplifting the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So basically, man, I'm just gonna get into a quick lesson going into the signs, man. Okay, the signs containing biblical prophecy. Okay, and we are in the last days, man. Okay, we're in the time of Yahweh, who the world calls God, his name is Yahweh, and the Son, who the world calls Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. And we're in the time of the great wrath of the Lord, man. Okay? And it's going to take place here on the earth, but especially here in America, man, which is Babylon the Great and being ruled by the, by the biblical Edomites, which are the so-called white people today. Okay? Hey, but the Lord gave us signs. And if you're a spiritual man and you claim that you're an Israelite, you believe in the Bible, and, but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh gave us signs to look forward to, or to know about the second coming of Yahweh Shai and the destruction that the Lord is bringing. So that's what we're entering into now, man. And you see things are happening, man, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. And the first scripture I'm going to get is 2nd Edges, chapter 9, verse 1. And it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in the sum. So you're supposed to be measuring the times. Watching. Okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Watching for the current events that's taking place here in America. Here in America and all throughout the world, man. Okay? And as a job of a prophet. Okay? Which the word prophet or prophecy means to say before. And that's what you're going to get here at Great Millstone, man. Because we constantly going into prophecy, man. Okay? Being the watchman for the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Israelites. Okay? And we already know that we come to the conclusion that only the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third is going to contain salvation and the understanding of the scriptures. Okay? And so when we see these things are happening here on the earth, by the way of the, the news, hey, we report it. Okay, so you put some measure measure the time, and it says, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I had told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he had made. And so you seeing you how Bashim Al Shah visiting this place, man. Okay, with different judgments that's taking place all throughout the earth. Okay. Therefore, when thou shalt be seen, therefore, that, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and all, all these things are happening, okay, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, wildfires, floods, okay, those are signs of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh visiting this place, man, okay, uproars of the people, okay, you have America at, at at, at the time or at the point of uncivil unrest, these protestings and, you know, the American citizens fight against the government 
this whole Black Lives Matter and, and, and um, you know, and um, the division amongst the American citizens, man. Okay. So those are uproars of the people. <clears throat> Let me continue on. And it says, Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from, from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these things are happening, man. Okay, prophecies are, are taking place. So ever since the beginning, when you how about you shall establish the, the, the word, hey, the Lord already had it set in the last days that we're in, that great judgment is going to take place. Okay? Now I'm going to get a couple of more signs that Yahweh Shah told us to watch for of the second coming. Now this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse um, 3. And it says, As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So the, the disciples and the true believers of Yahweh Bashem Shah is going to be taking heed through the spirit of the times that we're in. Okay? And it says, verse 4, And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And that's what you have here, here in the last days, man. Okay? People, you know, these false prophets and these false doctrines, these religions, such as Christianity, Islam, Roman Catholics, Methodists, Baptists, okay? All these false doctrines, man, that have deceived many of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And two-thirds of our people is going to be taken from by that, man. Okay? But the Yahweh Shah told the elect, the whole for elect, to watch for these things. Continue on. Verse 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Aren't that happening? Okay? If you looking at the news, okay? And if you measuring the times, you seeing the wars and rumors of wars. Russia and America. China and America. Iran and Israel, North Korea and America, okay? So these are signs, man. Continue on, and it says, And there shall be famines and pestilence and, er and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these things happening, famine, pestilence, okay? And this is going to get more intensified, man, with this whole crown royal uh, 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 coronavirus, man. Okay, Crown Royale, however you pronounce it, the 19. Okay, which is orchestrated, but the Lord do have pleasant, pleasance and, and, and diseases out here, man. Pestilence and, and, and plagues that's gonna that's gonna fall upon the wicked. <coughs> Continue on, and it says all of these are the beginning. Or sorrows. So we enter in the time, man. But Yahweh Bashim al Shah bringing great judgment, great sorrow. Okay? Now back into 2nd Edges, chapter 9, verse um, 6. <clears throat> and it says, Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders, powerful works, and endings in effect. And signs, and every one that shall be saved shall be that every one that shall be saved by by their faith. I mean, it's lucky. and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Okay, so that's going into the elect, because the elect is going to be rewarded, man. Okay, mainly you know the brothers that's on the highways and byways. Pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the believers that's coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So by our works and having faith, hey, that's going to lead to salvation, lead to the protection and the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the times of trouble when all hell breaks loose. Okay? 
Continue on. And it says, and they, and they, and it says shall be preserved from the said the said perils. And the power word peril means dangerous times. And shall see my salvation in my land within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have which now have abused my ways, and they had cast them away despite, despitefully, shall dwell in torments. And that's going on to two thirds, man. Okay? Of our people that not taking heed to the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, by the way of the prophets. Okay. So that's it on that. And I'm gonna go to the book of Second Edges. Chapter 7, verse 20. And it read, For there should be many that perish in this life because they, because they despise the law of God that is set before them. And how are they doing that? By not taking heed to the word of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, by the ministry of the prophets. Okay, we constantly out there, starting with our apostles and elders and the brothers on down, constantly on the highways and byways. Constantly putting up videos, sit down videos, giving warning to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But they refused to hear the words of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. And it says, For there should be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot that is set before them. For Yahweh by Shemiah was shot had given straight commandment to such as come what they should do. To live, okay, and, and what what the commandments are set for us to live, man. Okay, that's why we follow the laws, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. Because if our beneficial, when it comes to how we're supposed to live, man, how Yahweh Bashmah Shah set us up and, and, and separate us from the rest of these nations, man. Because these nations, the Lord is not dealing with these nations, okay? And that's why, that's why they're doing all type of wickedness, man, starting with Esau, Edom. But our people want to follow the ways of these heathens, man. Okay? So, in actuality, they're really dead, man, spiritually. When they go about following after these false gods, these idols, and these customs. Okay? And that's going to lead to them being destroyed. Okay? And, and continue on. And it says, For Yahweh had gave them straight commandments to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment, okay? So taking heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim Shah and walking in the faith, okay? And doing the works, keeping the commandments to the best of our ability, okay? Hey, that's going to lead to Yahweh Bashim Shah protecting us, man, and delivering us out of trouble, okay? And it said to avoid punishment because the ones of our people that's into this world, hey, they're going to be punished. For the wicked deeds that they are doing. As the, as the scripture continues on. And it says. Nevertheless. They were not obedient unto him. But speck against him. And imagine vain things. And to deceive themselves. By the wicked deeds. And say of the most high. That he is not. And knew not his ways. Oh, and that's our people man. They don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They don't actually believe in, believe in, believe in the true characteristics. Of the God of the Bible, man, which is the power of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Continue on. And it says, But his law have they dis despised and deny his covenant. In his statutes have they have they not been faithful and have not performed his works. Okay, verse 25. And therefore address for the empty, uh, therefore address for the empty or empty things. And for the fool or the fool things, okay? So they're going into the truth, man. Yahweh Bashim al is going to give the elect the whole truth, man. Okay? Which is the, the knowledge of the scriptures. Hey, but two-thirds of our people, man, they're going to be empty, okay? Meaning that they don't have the understanding of the scriptures, man. Which is going to lead to their destruction. Continue on. And it says, Behold, the time shall come that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass and the bride shall appear and she coming forth shall be seen 
that now is withdraw from the earth. Okay, that's going to, okay, the tokens represent the signs, these prophecies, things that's happening here on the earth. Okay, and the bridegroom represent Yahweh Shah returning. When Yahweh Shah return, what the hosts of angels, what the world call UFOs, but they are really the chariots of Israel. Okay. How Yahweh Shah is going to return and Yahweh Shah is going to bring judgment by the way of those chariots, but also going to bring salvation, okay, to the elect. Because the elect is going to be delivered, okay, by those chariots during the time of the destruction of America by thermonuclear fire in this up and coming World War III, okay? Um, and it says, verse 27, and whosoever is delivered, from the foresaid evils shall see my wonders, okay? And that's going into the elect being delivered. And we're here, man. we definitely here at the end of Esau Edom rulership <coughs> and the destruction of America. Look at all the, the abomination and wickedness that's going on, man. Okay? And hey, this place is set for the destruction, and it's going to happen. Now I'm going to go to the book of Habakkuk Chapter 2 Let me get there Habakkuk chapter 2 Verse 1 And it says I will stand upon my watch And set me upon the tower And I will watch to see What he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I reprove, okay, going into, hey, the prophets, okay, and real representation of the prophets such as Habakkuk, Isaiah, Daniel, Jeremiah, Hosea, Amos, because those men, those prophets are back here today, what we know as in the scriptures, reincarnation, okay, the, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, so the prophets of the Lord is going to be here today, prophesying man okay jeremiah 28 and 8 okay how the prophets were set up to prophesy against wickedness okay uh, 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 uh kingdoms that rule and being contrary to the law statutes commandments okay especially america man because they don't uphold none of the laws according to the scriptures everything that they do is contrary and against yahweh bashim yahweh ways Okay, <laughs> let me continue on. Verse 2, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may runneth that readeth it. Okay, that's going into the prophets. The visions represent the prophecies, the signs. Okay, and we're reading it, man. And we're running with it, meaning going out there to the highways and byways, constantly giving warning, man, day in and day out. Verse 3, for the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak. And we've seen these things are happening, man. The prophecies are speaking, okay, to show you that we're at the end. We're at the end of Esau rulership. And the next rulership, the transition of power, is going to be Yahweh Shai and the nation of Israel starting with the elect, okay? That's why we're coming into the time of great judgment, man, okay? And why the Lord is gathering the elect by the words by his words okay and by the spirit and it says for the vision is yet for a appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry okay so we're seeing these things happening now man we're seeing the pushing of the rfid chip which is the mark of the beast okay we're seeing this place uh, financially, the economy is crashing. Like I say, uproars of the people. The time of World War, World War Three, okay. Disease, pestilence. <coughs> so these things are happening, man. So that's it on that. Now I'm gonna get this last scripture before I close out. This is Ezekiel, chapter two, verse one. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me, 
when he spoke, when he spoke unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that speak unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation, that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers had transgressed against me, even unto this very day. So our people still in the mind frame of being disobedient and not taking heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim Shah by the prophets. Okay? And it says, For there are imprudent children, stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them. Thou shalt say unto them, This say the Lord God. So we're telling you everything Yahweh Bashim Shah gave unto the prophets to speak, man. Okay? Hey, but they don't want to listen. Okay? The Lord said they're imprudent, stiff necked. Okay, meaning they hard headed. They don't want to take heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim was shot. So therefore they're going to be destroyed. And it says, And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a, a rebellious children, yet, for they are a rebellious house, excuse me, yet shall they know that there have been a prophet among them. Okay, and that's going to take place when all hell break loose, man. When the famine of the word take place, we're not going to have access to the videos, okay, of the teaching, of the warning, uh, and, and, and you're not going to be able to repent, because Yahweh Bashim al Shah, that's when the time Yahweh Bashim al Shah is going to draw his uh, word away from you Israelites, man. And after that, no, but judgment is going to take place, okay? But the Lord said, then they should know a prophet had been among them, Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close the lesson out here. And I pray that this lesson be edifying to the ones that they're listening. Till next time, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that teach and rule well. And salutation to the fellow laborers pushing the ministry and the word of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity, and the believers as well that's believing in the spirit. In the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Till the next time, Shalom.